All right, guys, so we're gonna quickly find out what the difference is between the new K5S versus the old K5 tripod head from iFootage. Right off the back, if we look at the K5, they almost, they both look identical, but there's small minor changes. One change was on here, a big noticeable, the hardware that actually connects the arm has been upgraded. This is a lot more beefier. There was a, uh, a lot of complaints about it being uh, worn out very easily and then pretty much unusable. If you can see here is the K5S. It's a lot more solid, like I said, beefier. And here is the old version. And these are just so much more smaller and smoother. And it's the same on the actual arms. Here is the new arm for the K5S. A lot more beefy, same hardware versus the old one. Again, just a little bit softer and the edges. So that was one of the big changes. Another big change was people were complaining about the size of the knobs here. These knobs have been enlarged on both sides here. Uh, this is the K5S. You can see this is about that size here versus the old one. I mean, just a lot more smaller. These are like rinky dinks. I have big old fingers here and these are were at times a little bit bothersome to maneuver with. So those have been enlarged on both sides. This is the old one. This is the K5. K5S, super big, nice and beefy. I can handle those with ease with my big old fingers, right? There we go. This button has changed too. Now it's a little bit more of a, like a pointy direct button. This video is brought to you by Artlist. Artlist can provide you with music licensings for videos, film, YouTube videos, whatever you got, they got you covered. They got plans as low as $9.99 a month. So if you're in the market for some copyright free music, take a look at Artlist. The other uh, big change was also the actual base of the unit. The K5S has a bigger base, has bigger uh, dimensions here, a bigger radius. This edge here is also a lot bigger versus the old one. Here it was a lot smaller base and this little bit of lip. So you get a lot more leverage when you're doing uh, pans and stuff like that. So that was one of the big differences. And the last change between these heads uh, was the top plate. This plate now is compatible with some of the Manfrotto tripods, some DJI Ronin tripods. It works with that, where this old one did not work with those uh, tripods. So I do not have any of those tripods, so I don't know the models and stuff, but I do know that they added uh, a little bit of compatibility to those other tripods. This one does sit slightly taller, not that much otherwise, but overall the weight still feels about the same. Honestly, this feels slightly lighter. The K5S feels slightly lighter than the older one. I don't know, who knows? I don't have anything to weigh them to, to get the exact measurements. If you wanna take a look at this video here where I talk about the, their new Cobra 3 and Cobra 2 tripod uh, monopods, take a look at that video, hope it helps.